On the front page of the internet, tucked deep within a sea of 1x1 one one squares, rest many different stories. Stories of bravery, perseverance, collective effort, and battles that will be remembered for much of the internet's history. Stories that may have only spanned for days, but felt like an eternity for some. This is just one of those stories. The story of how a niche manga found its way onto a collective internet canvas due to an incredibly dedicated and loving community. This is the history of our Shimeji place. There is an empty canvas. You may place a tile upon it, but you must wait to place another. Individually, you can create something. Together, you can create something more. Reddit's rules regarding place left nothing to be desired. Whether you want to call it a collective project or a social experiment, it was a pretty simple concept nonetheless. Last enacted in 2017, our place was once again ready to take the internet by storm, this time for almost four full days. What started as an idea upon the second day of this extravagant event, turned into a reality by a leading member of the Shimeji Simulation community. So many group projects were already on the canvas, and I felt like the manga of TK Miz deserved to be represented. And I thought we had the means to do so. User, I work at 7-Eleven but I cry, or 7-Eleven for short, responded to my idea of placing Majime on the canvas in the early hours of April 2nd. But instead of just Majime, 7-Eleven created a mock-up for Shijima as well. Although the grid had to be revised due to our place's lack of color support, we now had a means to get to work. The initial spot was around the coordinates 1249-108. The plot of land was large enough to work with, and there wasn't much there aside from some leftover pixels and Japanese characters. What most of us didn't know at the time, however, was we were treading on dangerous territory. While the idea that a canvas is open to all works well in theory, ultimately larger groups will trample the small. But in the moment, it didn't matter. The pixel grid was posted to both our Shimeji simulation and our girls' last tour in an attempt to gather troops, and the pixels began to fall into place. The rallying cry in the community was enough for Majime to form within a little under two hours. As for Shijima, there was a slight problem. While enough space existed in our spot, another dedicated group was fighting for Shijima's left eye. This group was Marathon. Marathon is one of Bungie's earliest video games with a surprisingly large community. Although an attempt was made by us to coordinate with the Marathon community, there was a slight issue. Suggesting that they push their logo 5 pixels to the left would ultimately result in a battle with the Yume Niki community. After a bit of back and forth, it was clear our pixels held more power. Thankfully, Marathon was adopted by Doom, and a battle was avoided. Without mishaps, it took even less time for Shijima to form and all that was left was the grey background, which happened to be quite troublesome for the white mass forming above the two girls' heads. What may have looked like a globe to some was only the beginning of a Trojan taking form. Michigan State University was attempting to fill the space above us after being wiped out much earlier in the day. Pixels were thrown back and forth between the two groups for a few minutes before a couple of users sent DMs to come to an agreement. MSU was incredibly nice and cooperative. They sacrificed a bit of their helmet so we could fit the girls' heads in full, and in exchange, we gave them our great background. As the Shimeji user base was quick to point out, this was indeed the good ending. Not only did we have our space, but it also looked like the two girls attended MSU and were protected by the loving Trojans. Cooperation and coordination can breed creativity for everyone involved, and it just goes to show that working out your problems is best for everyone. And that's where Shijima and Majime stood. For about three hours. Because not everyone has that same mentality. As I pointed out briefly before, we had somewhat unknowingly poked a sleeping beast. And that beast had just woken up.
I think it's safe to say that every community that knew of our place wanted to be part of internet history. Whether it was a small community or streamers invasion, parts of the canvas were to be created or invaded. For most it was one plot, for the Irish, it was three. Flags took up most of the canvas, and while creative ideas were pasted on most of them, the vast majority just felt intrusive. Not to insult other countries or say that representation of a country is a bad thing, but if you look at Germany or France on the canvas, you could tell that people were fed up with how much space they occupied. The use of bots was also quite unfair to those attempting to even capture a fragment of what our place had to offer. Many communities had fallen victim to the wrath of flags, including Pay Money Wubby and our very own Girls Last Tour. What we didn't know, however, was that this time, we were the invaders. While at least a few messages were tossed around about our location being on top of the Irish flag, it wasn't clear to most, including me. In fairness, communities had already placed art covering vast portions of the Irish flag, so their defense hadn't been giving us problems either. It looked like a wasteland before our pixels were placed. Once construction had started upon the heads, our numerous pixel placers stopped zooming out as well. So long as we were fighting and negotiating in the current moment, the Irish flag wasn't looking like it was a problem. But what we hadn't quite figured out was that time zones play a key factor in the presence of communities. Three hours after the Shemeji Head's completion, the Irish had finally woken up, and they were not pleased to say the least. Our border was the first to go, and once it was gone, we weren't sure of the reality of our two girls. While the Irish community was largely against keeping us on the flag, the mods were actually quite open to discussion. There were overly angry messages being tossed around in the server, and a demand for the heads to go was clearly evident. While the threat was quite large, the coordination of the Irish was lacking. It was incredibly saddening to realize that this may have been the end, but it was quite hilarious watching the indecisiveness in the war room. Yeah, they actually called it the war room. Thumbs up and thumbs down reactions to messages and the word lads were thrown around more times than we could count. There were also a few lighthearted potato jokes thrown around on our end as well. In the end, however, the vote was not cast in our favor. In about a 2080 split, the vote was determined to demolish our once prospering work. Our place was a canvas for all, but at the time we felt like that wasn't the case. The Shimeji simulation community was heartbroken, devastated, and tired from fighting too long. In retrospect, we were most likely the ones at fault, taking advantage of a larger community when they had all but stopped work on their flag. But may I remind you of what our place is about? No one owns a section of the canvas, and no one is entitled to keeping their art. What makes the canvas so beautiful is that change is always bound to occur even if it's a change we don't like. Considering their possession of two other flags, the fact that other art was left alone, making the space hardly look like a whole flag, and the favoring of MSU, who also invaded without permission, made the Irish's decision to demolish us feel even more unfair. But for a small community, we didn't have much say in the decision. For me, the clock had reached the early hours of the morning. I just sat and watched our hard work slowly dissipate. Most of us slept with a heavy heart, but a determination to rise again. Unaware to us at the time, however, was that our opportunity would once again arise with the addition of even more canvas. Because day three of our place had doubled the already doubled canvas. Now that the canvas was four times the size of the original canvas, we finally had a means to find a new location. The thing is, time was running out. Since our place efforts were much more organized than in 2017, it was very difficult to locate space. On one hand, space was more abundant, but on the other, taken land meant that it was most likely defended. Covering up previous work was not at all easy, especially for a small group, 
so new space was the only choice. Unbeknownst to me, the effort had already started slightly before I woke up that day, so I took to Reddit to once again inform the community about the efforts of our project. This time, the spot picked out was right below what at the time was a very suggestive car from the movie Cars, around 8.30-13.02. There was a slightly rocky start with some spot confusion, but we were finally able to get the ball rolling, starting with Shijima. This time it took around 5 hours to finish Shijima, which may have been the result of a smaller group than before. The following work on Majime was fine for a bit as well, until I got a message from another Redditor that read as so. Yo, you're messing up our project! Although we tried our best to choose an empty spot, it seems we were trampling on others. As it turns out, the person who messaged me was in a group of two people creating a Mooney Knight from Aqua Team Hunger Force. I think I speak for the others in the Shimeji group when I say we mean no harm to users placing pixels. The last thing we desire is to cover up someone's work without proper negotiation, because that's exactly what happened to us only a day prior. So after a bit of back and forth with project schematics, we agreed to push their art on top of Majime's head and help them rebuild. About an hour later, Majime was fully built and we were able to rebuild what we could of the Mooney Knight. And there you have it. This is the happy ending everyone was hoping for, right? We finished our project and helped a small group keep theirs. Well, it would be the happy ending. If it weren't for some people being misinformed. Because although we helped rebuild the Mooney Knight, over time the gray space around our project was filled in by those only following the initial blueprint, and along with it, part of the Mooney Knight. Even if it was unintentional, I would still like to apologize for the demolition of the project we promised to protect. We never intended to trample over other art, but as is the nature of the ever-changing canvas, that's just how it happened. Even so, we managed to get the Shimeji heads back on the canvas, and all was looking well for us. That is, until day 4 arrived. I slept quite soundly that previous night, but many of the users from the whole Digging Club Discord and the Shimeji community were busy defending our work. And the effort paid off. When I woke up on day 4, the two girls were still sitting in their great box in pretty perfect condition. For 13 whole hours we were able to keep these girls on the canvas, even as all these other projects were rapidly changing. We were set to keep this up until the canvas was finished, so long as nothing else went wrong. But I mean, hey, what's the possibility of our work getting ruined if it was able to last 13 hours? Pretty small, right? <laughs> yeah, right. The blue started at the top left corner of our work, but ended up spreading all across the top. It was a threat unlike the others, as this time we were against a large group that we didn't invade first. As soon as the blue crept in, we knew we were too small to stop it. It took a while before we noticed what it was, but it turned out to be a portrait of the streamer Quackity. Most of us were pissed off, and for good reason. The fourth day was the last day, and Reddit never stated when the canvas would cease operation on that day. So by the time the top of our heads were cut off, we had to make a decision, and we had to make it fast. But before I get to that decision, let me clear something up. Our place released an entire canvas timeline after it ended, and it allowed us to see the whole picture involving a lot of projects, but it was mainly useful for the quackity portrait mentioned. The blue pixel started next to us, clearly attempting to avoid our project. The Mexican flag then expanded not once but twice to the right, and pushed the quackity canvas onto our art. So in fairness to their group, it was not their intention to cover us up. Their decision came out of necessity if they were to actually complete their project, and our decision came as a result of theirs. Ideas were tossed around in the Discord server until we settled on the best option. We would have to downsize if we wanted to keep the girls on the canvas. 
Within two hours, user Dominator from the Hole Digging Club had made a smaller grid to compensate for the smaller space left by the Quackity group. This time, the girls were given a shovel as the space to the right allowed us to do so. For the final time, attempts were made to rally Reddit, and construction of the small heads began. This time, there was nothing in our way because we only built in our own space. The project was finished within roughly two hours, and although it was remarkably smaller, the art still looked magnificent. But as it is with all of our art, we still had battles left to fight. There was a small group attempting to build a face of a Minecraft cat on the right side of our space. At this point, we had no clue when the canvas was going to end, and in our frightened state, we opted to defend instead of negotiate. The option for the shovel to go was available, but most of us were mixed on the idea of losing more space. In the end, the Minecraft cat group chose to build over the small Denmark flag to the left of us, and in their previous spot, we chose one last design. A Nuko statue. But unfortunately for us, and everyone else, there would not be an opportunity to finish any new art we had planned. There would only be one option. All Redditors were left with one choice. Snow was starting to fall. What was first thought to be a glitch by many Redditors was actually an intentional feature of our place. Our color options became quite limited to say the least. You see, when new canvas was added each day, along with it came multiple new colors to further enhance the art placed on the canvas. Yet the final day hadn't yielded more canvas or new colors. Instead, it took everything away from us, except for the color white. At 82 hours and 3 minutes into the canvas, the pixels were finalized and everyone was given one mission. Destroy what you've created. Snow was falling all over the canvas and no art was safe. Some users went to destroy those who destroyed them. Some took pleasure in wiping their own work clean, but us? We just all breathed a collective sigh of relief. The long journey was finally over. Even without the Nuko, even with all the rebuilds and hardship, we were able to stay until the end of the canvas. As the word free was written in white and the canvas slowly faded away, the whole digging club erupted with celebration. The Shimeji simulation community had left their mark on one of the most influential sites on the internet. They had left their mark on one of the coolest social experiments ever created. They had given back to the manga series that had given so much to them. As small as the artwork was, it still felt impactful to all of us involved in its creation. Because in the end, our place taught us that no matter how small you feel like you are, together you can be something bigger. Thank you to the Shimeji Simulation and Girls Last Tour communities for your endless dedication and enthusiastic effort. Thanks to Reddit for the opportunity of a lifetime. But most importantly, thank you to TK Miz for creating such inspirational work. Wherever you are out there, TK Miz, even if you never find this video, just know that your work has done much more than inspire others. It has allowed us to grow and share our interests in a loving and thoughtful community, leaving Shijima and Majime to forever be embedded into the canvas of our place. Not just as a symbol of our efforts, but as a signal to others. Get out there and do the impossible. Thanks for watching. <laughs>